Whittleton Creek, Vermont. On the surface, a picture-perfect suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white-collar professionals, ranging from university staff to government employees. Most, but not all. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards, and intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. So get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47. Forty-seven, I've marked your map with several points of interest. We're running this mission with very little upfront intel, but these locations could provide clues to help you obtain the information we need. Good luck. Nolan Cassidy is down. Good work, Forty-seven. Janus awaits your attention. so it's really not that hard to get him to go along with my ideas. Although, I have to say, it's been challenging to find a good place for my old microfilm viewer. Right now, it's just collecting dust in the attic. Microfilm? That's an interesting thing to collect. Well, it's sort of a hobby that never really took off. Do you mind? Besides, You're really I don't have any microfilm Can you just to play leave me alone? viewer anyway. I'm not sure I can find any either. Yep. He might have a roll or tape or whatever it is that sort of thing uses. I'm sure he'd be delighted to lend you something. Back in the day, Janus was known for his obsessive need to archive and keep memorabilia. If he has any microfilm in his house, it might contain something interesting. Hey, did you grab the pack of smokes that was thrown over the fence from the old guy's garden? No, man. So, Janus smokes despite being dependent on an oxygen tank and his bodyguard's insistence on hiding his cigarettes. I wonder what might happen if he combined the two. I'm trying to stop. Well, uh, well. You know, I think someone in there is trying to help the old geezer stop as well. Oh, I saw him. <laughs>
just gone AWOL. Breaker, break out. We're ending this right now. Out. James, Cold War spy master and the first Providence Constant. I wonder how much he remembers, how little he cares. At last, the actions of the first Constant catch up with him. Death feels like an easy way out for a man like James. Still, we are close, Agent. Both targets are dead. It's not an ordinary resident of Whittleton Creek, 47. This must be one of Cassidy's men working undercover. I suggest you keep an eye out for more of them.
wouldn't you like to come out to the stand and join us, giving away all these wonderful muffins? Oh, I'd love to, my darling, but I've got to do some sewing. Janus has a dressing gown that needs a few touch-ups, and he's getting anxious. Apparently he needs it for something soon. You seem to have so a many robe things for going on. West, what could he need I that for? How you find the time. Well, when you're retired, you can get it. Finally. Earth, are you doing? Hmm. Sinister looking basement. What could she be doing down here? Janus has asked Helen to do a few repairs on the robe before he leaves for his annual trip. He even put a date there. This is valuable information, 47.
One of Janus's old microfilms. It might contain important information. All you need now is to find a device to read it on. Drop off the surveillance tapes and Jane is in the house. I don't know what he's reading, but it looks like it's the most interesting thing he's ever come across. The new Cassandra Snow novel, maybe. Slivers of past shimmers, or something like that. See, my wife's reading it now. I can't get her to do anything around the house. No, no, it's not a novel. I think it's a, a journal, or a, or a diary. He's one of the security people working over at that old Russian guy's house. That's gotta be something from the old man's archives. Oh. If that's one of Janus's well, diaries, it, it might contain some important book. information about his past. My books these days. Our past. Or maybe something that can help us locate the constant. Janus has many diaries. He's apparently been the chairman of the Ark Society for years. He stepped down very recently, but is still attached to the Society. Well, 47, this is valuable information. Oh, yeah, the bird guy. I think he comes early. I 
just said that I think it's a bit much to pay for. I haven't been poking around the frog habitat behind the house, have you? No. Oh, okay, great. It, it's just that, well, I, I saw one of those security people from Mr. Dennis's house. So I'm pretty sure he was burying something back there. I just figured you, you guys would be, you know, working together. You might know about it. Someone from Janus' security detail buried something in the frog habitat behind Cassidy's house. What could that possibly be?
A cigar box with a few cigars and a note inside. Well, this is very interesting. The note indicates that the box was given to Janus by the Constant as per tradition, he writes. 47. This could mean the Constant and Janus meet up on a regular basis. Excellent find. Good work, 47. We now know Janus is meeting with the Constant at an event related to the Ark Society. And we have an approximate date as well. I think that's all we're going to get. Society, one of Providence's more obscure outfits. I've heard whispers. A survivalist club for the global elite, billionaires preparing for a global collapse. And now we know the Constant will attend their next gathering. So where is it? That's the catch. The report is redacted. No names, no location. So it's a dead end. I can't track them, not without ICA backup. Now, I'm no big shot analyst, but it seems to me, so chances are, they'll want to pay their respects in private. Track the coffin. Worth a shot. You all right? It comes back in flashes. Fear, anger, but like it happened to someone else. <laughs> Your gift and your curse, what they did to you. Well, I spent a long time feeling guilty about that. Now, I wonder who got the better deal. Yes, found something. What are we looking at? The ass end of nowhere. But this is where Janus's remains were shipped to. Our choice for a final resting place, wouldn't you say? Not bad. So we stake it out. Await the next gathering. Then we waltz in and kidnap one of the world's most powerful men. Without ICA backup. Like I said, it's a long shot. We'll take it. Perspective, please. Janus is dead. Lucas Gray is about to join him. And a cornered animal is twice as dangerous. Let's be perfectly clear. We were not exposed. The threat is neutralized. We are back on track. Even so, from this point on, we expect you to take... No. There is no way I'm doing that. How can you question my loyalty? In case treachery is contagious. Do you really want to do this to me? Is there a problem, Secretary? No problem whatsoever, Madam. to loyalty. My man on the island confirms that the Constant has arrived. We head out at sundown. Here, in case the crew get ideas. Why are you doing this, Mr. Gray? 
You had a chance to walk away. Why didn't you? A year ago, I'm working security for this banker, Cobb. Only to find out he's a Providence operative. I've been running for decades, only to wind up where I started. We've all got barcodes on the back of our heads. Most people just never notice. 47 told me about your parents. How did they die? Car bomb. Surrey, 1989. Company named Blue Seed didn't care to pay for their mistakes. But I like to think no one's untouchable. I'm... I'm sorry for your loss. You feel it, don't you? Unlike him, you feel it all. Everything you've done. It's a dangerous thing. Having a conscience. <laughs>